Alright guys, thank you for joining me in this special episode. Sorry about the background noise, I got a fan on, and then I have my, uh, my fan here. Uh, but today guys, we're going to be focusing on getting the setup to how I want it. Um, I've got it set up for two monitors here. Um, as you guys can see, got my Dragon Ball Z cup there. Um, but, let's close, <laughs> let's close this one. Get that door closed, makes it look better. But we got to move the PC. And then we got to move the Xbox One because it's on its side, not supposed to be on its side. It's the original one. We're going to put it right here where my iPad is. Um, so originally, this is actually a triple monitor mount. As you can see here, I've gone ahead and removed one of the arms. And that was because I made this setup. Now this is the editing PC. Um, it's got two R9 290s. Uh, you guys can't really see that in there. Uh, just trust me. Um, I'll show you maybe in a little bit. But I was using um, that monitor there for this um, desk, but then I came across one of my old Dell monitors, and it's actually a little bit better for editing. It's a little bigger. It's not actually 1080p. It's a little bigger than that. Um, as you can see, it's a lot taller than that monitor. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and pull all of this out. We're going to move the PC over to the far right as we can. Then we're going to move the Xbox One over here, and then we should be good. And we're going to do all the cable management stuff while we go along. All right guys, so you might have seen this leg here in the time lapse. Um, so that leg is me supporting the middle of the desk. Because this desk is so long, it's only got these two little legs over here. I decided I wanted to put one in the middle, but I didn't really screw it down. Um, that's why it's been bowing in and out and stuff like that. So we're going to go ahead and actually move that. I don't know if we're going to add it back in because I think this desk is sturdy enough to support it. Alright guys, so as you can see, I have got a lot of work to do. Lots of cables. We have two Signum racks here. I picked these up at Ikea. Um, but yeah, I've got to get working on that. These are the LED strips here. I got these uh, anchored on. I don't know if you can see them. With some little ties. Let's see if I can focus on it. Oh yeah, look at that. There's a screw there. And then it goes... I've got a few of them mounted across, so pretty cool. But we're going to get crack a lacking in some smacking. Alright, so we got most of the stuff cleared out from underneath here. I've got my Elgato K HD capture card there, uh, my uh, HDMI splitter, and then my uh, USB hub there with a USB Type-C on the end. Um, so that's pretty much all we got. We also got my uh, audio port here, so I plug my earphones into when I'm streaming. Um, but So everything is up here on top of the desk, other than all the cables and the Xbox and PC over there. Um, but what we're going to go ahead and do now is so we're going to move this back over to the middle. And I think I have it marked out here somewhere. I'll have to find it. I think it might be this mark here. Um, but we're going to move that over, and then we're going to add the arm back on. Boom. All right, guys. So we are back. I've got the, uh, the actually, I got the desk all cleaned off, and I've got the monitor moved back to the center. Now, I like doing this thing because a lot of times it's, it's too difficult for me to tighten these by hand eventually. So I stick a screwdriver in here and get it to the, the tightness I like. And that way, I know that it's seated properly. So that one gets tight, and then I go back to this one, that one gets tight, and then normally they free each other up because one of them's taking more of the burden than the other one. So, just a tip for you guys. I find it very helpful indeed, as you can see. That one's pretty tough, so we'll have to go stay on this one for a little bit. I think, I think we're good, let's test it. Oh yeah, solid as a rock. Hey look, there's my webcam. Huh. 
All right, guys, so this is what I'm thinking. It's not actually centered because if it were centered, we couldn't actually put the PC here. Um, so this is what we're gonna have to do. We moved it over, so that little dot there is the center, and that's where the monitors have to be. Um, we could actually move it over a little more to the right, so maybe it was a lot closer to touching this. Um, but this is where the Xbox is gonna go. Uh, our, I don't know if I'll ever put the PS4 back here. Actually, we might be able to put the PS4 right there. Hmm, I'd have to see. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if you think uh, putting the Xbox, or sorry, but the PS4 there would be worth it. It is white. Uh, here, let me show you to it. Here is the PS4. Um, like I said, it's white, so it would stand out quite a bit. I mean, I do have it paired up with our Xbox 360 over there. Um, but I don't know if it would be worth it. Let me know down in the comments if you think we should add it. But I think we're making some really good progress. Back to the triple monitors, which is always a good thing. Um, everything seems to be going just fine. We're going to put the keyboard there. I'm going to drill that hole out. That's where we're going to route our cables through for our... Um, monitor, or not a monitor, but our keyboard and mouse. So I'm going to do that. And then I got to work on mounting our um, amp for the microphone. Where did that thing go again? Oh, here it is. It's beneath our network switch. So this is the amp I use um, to record or to um, I plug my Audio Technica AT230 into it. Um, it uses the, I think it's a USB Type C. Focus. Anyway, you guys can see that. Uh, so we're going to get working on that. I'm going to mount this. I'll probably mount it upside down like I did before. Um, I don't think I'll mount it anywhere else. I might actually think about mounting it to the back of maybe this monitor. I don't know. Maybe mount it um, kind of like this. Maybe even mount it to this one here. That would be easy for me to adjust it. But then, I, like I said, adjusting would be hard. So maybe even just putting it here would be best. So, I don't know. I'll have to see. Alright, so not a whole lot has changed, but I have got my uh, external hard drive for my Xbox and my um, headset ad wireless adapter thing for the Turtle Beach X42s. Uh, I've got the cables all managed back here. This is okay. This kind of bugs me. You guys can't really even see it, but there's a lot of cables here. And then underneath here, I've got the fiber optic cable. Um, and then back here, um, I've got these all cable managed and they're even hooked onto here. There's a little Velcro strap. It's really dark for you guys. Can I make it any? No, I can't let any more light. Oh wait, you guys can see the strap now. Cool. So right here, there is, see this plastic piece? That's a zip tie uh, to a Velcro strap and so all these are nice and neat. I've also got this wired up kind of. There we go. Um, as you can see here, uh, this just goes up and into the back, so I like that. That's where power is going to come from. And then we need to route this cable, which is already routed down below, but I did move the microphone here. Uh, it was hanging on over here, but I moved it to here. So this was rooted down here, and then this is all that. So all we got to do is plug this cable in to the back of, or to the front of here, over here like this. And we should be good to go. Um, we're going to need to cable manage it so it comes like up through here and then around. So we'll get on to that. Um, and then we're going to start working on getting everything plugged in like power cables. And I keep hitting my leg on my freaking nightstand. Ugh. But anyway, that's the progress. Been pretty cool. Alright, so we are looking pretty close to done. Um, we still have to drill the hole and then the keyboard and mouse go on it and then we're pretty much done after that um, if we look around here you can see that we got everything hooked up that looks like a like a mess but it does look pretty good from the bottom not even gonna lie okay and then once we get everything connected in I've left enough slack here so what we'll do is we will cable tie them all up and then that way they won't look horrible. I've also put in a wall um, socket so that way I don't have to flip this upside down because this is going to be like 
like that. That way I wouldn't have to do that. So I can just plug it straight into there. And then same with this one. So that way they will look a heck ton better. And then plus this has two USB um, hubs on, or USB ports on it so for charging. So I might end up throwing a wireless charger there for my iPhone. Um, but everything is coming together really good. I've gone ahead for the speakers here. I put a, um, let's go ahead and focus. Go ahead and put a cable clip thing here and here on this one as well. So that is looking fantastic. This doesn't look all that good. Um, there's nothing we can really do about that. So we've pretty much finished everything. Um, so when we drill that hole, um, this will clean up that look. There won't be any wires running back here. It look like it's almost wireless. So I am liking this a lot. This is the view we're going to have. From the chair so I think it is going to look freaking fantastic and plus all those cables right over there let's zoom in all those stupid cables yeah there they are all those cables there will be taken care of we won't see them at all so but guys this is looking freaking awesome so we're gonna slide it back for now and then I'm gonna come back once I've got that hole drilled All right, guys, so we were able to drill that hole. As you can see, it is right here. And I found something out today. The long IKEA discs are actually solid wood. I thought they were hollow because I've drilled out discs before from them. And there's like there's like a piece of wood here. And then there's a slat here or a, like a piece here on this side. And then there's a, a piece on the bottom. So it's like hollow in the middle. But that is not the case when it comes to the big desk. And I guess you need it bigger because it's so much, or you need it stronger because it's so much longer. But I had to move the monitor out of the way. So now we can actually go ahead and finish up um, setting this bad boy up. So yep, that's how I had to drill it straight down from there. So we are looking fan-freaking-tastic. All right, guys, so we are in business. Pretty sure we're actually done. Um, as you can see here, the extended mouse pad looks pretty good. Got the uh, cables run into the um, the hole here. I probably will need to extend the mouse out just a little bit because that's not very comfortable. Let's see here. Let's see if I can do it now. Pull it out just a little bit. Yeah, I think we'll call that good. Move the mouse or the keyboard directly center. I'm pretty sure that's center. I could be wrong. Uh, this isn't centered though. Let's go ahead and fix this guy. Okay, so I think we are ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the desk onto the wall. We're gonna start with the LED lights and then we're gonna turn on the PC, then we're gonna turn on the Xbox and make sure everything's working properly. All right, so we got everything moved back. I think we are good to go. Now let's just see if the monitors turn on. <laughs> well, <laughs> they don't turn on. Maybe one of these switches got flipped off. Let's see. Actually, one of these should turn on. Yeah, okay, so that one's plugged in, so I think it's this one. We go here. Aha, there was a flicker. Yep, that one's on. And the light came on for the Xbox. Okay, let's test it. Or the headset anyway, not the Xbox. Oh, it's turned off in the back. Let's just sneak our hand over here. Perfect. All right. Boom. Okay, PC's working. Now do these work? Perfect. Back in business. Okay. Now, my big worry is the capture card for the Xbox. The Elgato HD uh, 60 has been um, giving me a little bit of problems in the past, and I need to move that over. Look, not good. What? Okay, let's grab the chair. Okay. Oops, missed, missed the key. All right, it is working. So hold up, let me let me see if I can get this right. Don't fall, camera. I'm counting on you. You're gonna fall. Come on. 
Come on, camera. There we go. Okay. Let's see here. I think it's as good as we're going to get. Okay. Let's check out the display settings. Actually, we can just right click. Hold up. These are all mixed up. Let's see. Okay, perfect. So I plugged in my AMD cards from the editing PC here. That's why you see the AMD Radeon settings. Well, let's go here to display settings. They opened up on this screen. Okay, so let's just identify them. Where are you at? There you are. So we got one, three. Oh, that's why. So let's just swap. Let's just swap these. Okay, apply. Now, oh yeah, it's good to go. All right, so that's working. Now let's go ahead and hope we need to turn up the brightness again. Hold up. Aha, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead. Push the button. Okay. Now if I go like this. Input. Ah, uh, what's going on? Wait. Man, did I plug it in wrong? Alright guys, so it works now. I had the Elgato HD60 flipped around on accident. So we are good to go. Um, we don't need to worry about um, anything else. Everything's working. So let's grab the HDMI. Not the HDMI, but the LED thing. Boom. LEDs work too. Let's go RGB. Boom. Pretty sweet. We'll just go back to green for now. But guys, we are all good to go for this episode. It has been a long day. We did a lot of work here. Um, this did take one day. I'll have to move that off camera. But guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. But guys, this has been Super Turtle, and I'm out. Peace out. Bye bye.